Redshirt senior Shane McDonough will kick it off. He is a transfer from Marshall University out of Clearwater, Florida. And we'll get underway with the regular season finale this afternoon. It is Van Horst to receive for James Madison at the six-yard line up to the 15. Nobody there to greet him until the 30. And then he gets past the 30 to the 40. He's heading towards the end zone. He does, just does miss one and goes right on to the 20 to the 10. It is a return for the touchdown. Solomon Van Horst opens it up for the Dukes of James Madison. Third and 17 off the edge. Ferguson runs, dumps it, and it's intercepted. That is Tucker Dorsey with the football for JMU. And they've got great field position, already leading 7-0, and they've got it at the Towson 25. And that has been an issue here the second half of the football season for JMU. And here's Cole standing tall, releases, and to the back of the end zone, Wells is there. A touchdown for James Madison University. Austin certainly knows the history, and they've got their work cut out for him already in this game. Ferguson hands it off to Howard, and he is met there at the 30-yard line as Bryce Carter, a former teammate of his, as he went to Towson University. Wait a minute. They didn't blow the whistle, and I'm looking back, and he's back up off the ground running down the sideline. Second down in goal as the ball spotted at about the 8-yard line. Ferguson throwing it out, and the ball is caught. That is a phenomenal catch by Towson for the touchdown. And that is Caleb Smith. They're down and a short three for the Dukes. Johnson to pass, and he will not get the pass off. He is sacked and coming through to make the tackle. Darian Reynolds, a discussion with Kevin Warner about the FCS playoffs. And we'll bring another guest. I'll keep that one uh, quiet right now. Here's a throw over the middle over the top and he's got Chris Thornton. Thornton has it at the 45. He's down to the 30 to the 20. Heading to the end zone into the purple touchdown. James Madison University. Chris Thornton's 11th of the season. The late Dr. Carrier getting things going here with Dean Ehlers. That was a Scott Bracey reception for the Irgish cheesesteak first down and sack. Down goes Cole Johnson as big number 99 plants him. That's Vinny Schaefer. And well, they put uh, Noah Turner, the transfer from North Carolina, shift him to the left side, faking the handoff to Palmer. Now right over the middle, wide open. Antoine Wells waltzes into the end zone. Touchdown, James Madison University. Coming in, Isaac Ukwu, by the way, is back out there for James Madison. Ferguson looking one way. He gets smacked, and it is intercepted. Picked off there. Q Reed, who's back in the lineup for quite some time. And there you see, let's see what he does here. Oh, he's let's see if they go back to the air this time. And you got Thornton here to the near side. Wells, the other side, faking the handoff. Johnson flares it out and coming across. And there is the third touchdown reception of the afternoon for Antoine Wells. He's injured in game number one, but he is back out there on that left tackle spot. Throwing that way, Van Horst waits for the football. Touchdown, James Madison University. All right, here's Johnson. The Dukes knocking at the door as they want to break 50 points on the day and Van Horst bangs his way through and the Dukes indeed reach 50 points in this ball game for just a little while longer it'll wrap up a few things Kent will air it out and that is passed intercepted Natola with the interception the ball jarred loose but it's out of bounds the Dukes will maintain the possession and I think that's his first career uh, uh, pick for it was a bit of a statement win against George Mason and it was a great one that's an overthrown pass, and it's picked off by the Tigers.